Hello, everyone. This is Tina. How are you doing today? Uh, in this video, starting from, from this video, we're gonna have a, a section about inheritance because when we do OO, there's a very, very big feature in Java, which is the polymorphism. And to do that, we have to use an inheritance, right? And uh, in relational database, there is no inheritance. So we have to learn a way how to map or how to emulate inheritance inside the relational database. And uh, basically, there are three ways, OK? Three ways. Oh, let me use the black. The first one is what? The first one is called a join. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Single table. Mm. How about the, the left side we're using the example? Let's give an example first. Okay. Suppose here we have a count. Okay. And uh, for this account, is an abstract class, okay? And uh, in the account, you're gonna have account ID, account the, and the balance. And then we have uh, two kinds of account. One is a checking. Uh, checking. What's the checking have? What's the special thing for the checking? Uh, let me think about it. Uh, I don't know. Uh, checking, let's give a limit. Um, and another account, let's call the savings, right? What, uh, what do we have for savings? Savings, savings, savings account has what? Uh, savings account has uh, uh, interest. Is it called interest? But the interest in American, the interest is very, 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 very low. And uh, these two concrete class extend this account, right? This is uh, inheritance. Then how to map this one into a relational database? We have three ways, which the first one is called a single table. What is a single table? Single table means this is uh, one here, 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 here. This part, right, is a single hierarchy. And uh, the single table means for the entire hierarchy only has one table. The table will become something like this, only has a one account table. And all the columns inside the account and checking and saving gonna be here. So you're gonna have ID and gonna have a balance and gonna have a limit and gonna have interest. So how to differentiate it's uh, the, this limit is belongs to uh, checking and this interest is belongs to savings. It is gonna have something called the decremet decriminator uh, field. TYPE. And uh, this field will store by default, it's gonna store the value for the class. Suppose one record is uh, ID one balance 100 limit is 100 there's no interest so here we'll say checking okay and it's supposed to have another count balance 200 and it's a saving account so interest will be 0, 0 0.5 and here we'll say savings so we threw this extra column to differentiate which re this record this record is a checking and this record here is a saving. Okay, this is a single table. Single table is a denormalized table. 
because when we save the value, okay, either this interest here will be none, or this limit here will be none. No matter what, for the entire table, we might have lots of uh, newable columns. And uh, for normalized table, we doesn't like the newable columns. So it's the, the normalized. And but uh, uh, the performance is gonna be good because you only has uh, one table, right? You only has uh, one table. Everything is fast when you do a search or a select or insert. Okay. Second one is called a joined table. This one we have uh, three. Here we have three classes. And we also will be have three tables. So <clears throat> here we will have an account. Account gonna have ID and have a balance. Okay, and we're gonna have a checking. So what does a checking has? Checking this table will have what? It will have a ID and the limit. And for the saving, savings, savings will also have ID and interest. Now the question is, where is this ID come from? Because in our class diagram, checking and saving, they don't have ID, only account have ID. So this ID is to do the uh, kind of like a join, okay? When we have an account, if we want to find if it have a, it's a checking or saving, it is through this ID value, okay? If ID here is one and here has a one, it means this account balance belongs to this checking. And also the same idea for this uh, saving, okay? This ID will hold the same value as this account. Very, very similar, uh, kind of like a, a element collection. Or you can think uh, kind of like, like a share the primary key, something like that. So when we using join table, the table here now is uh, normalized normalized table because if we uh, if we have a checking account then the values gonna be saved in these two tables right if we have a seven count the value will be saved into the two uh, table so there's a no newable column like here in a single table so it's normalized but it doesn't have a faster uh, database operation like the single like the single table because you every time when you insert you have to insert into two place and when you uh, retrieve you're gonna have a, a what's the thing join okay so we have a last option which is a table per concrete class Con do i have e here concrete class okay so what does this one look like e. this one gonna be is uh, here in this hierarchy okay on the left side in this hierarchy account is a uh, abstract class and the checking and the saving is a concrete class from this name Okay, table per concrete class, you already know. So we only have two tables. One is for checking, one is for saving. So how about the columns inside this abstract class? We using, we use union. Here we using join. Okay, second solution we use join. And here we are gonna using union. So we're gonna have two tables. One is the checking. The other one is called the savings. So what's the column inside these two table? For checking, we're gonna copy everything from the account. Okay, account, ID, balance. Copy everything from the abstract, okay. Hmm, let me delete this one. 
this. And the limit. For seventh, same thing. Copy everything from the abstract class. ID, balance, and it's on interest. So this is a table per concrete class. And uh, for this case, okay, for the third solution, let me using another color. For the third solution, eh, hey, why is the same? This one, give me this one, yes. For the third solution, compared with the first one joined, we are using union now. Okay, and also what's not a good part is you have like uh, this uh, this balance kind of like a duplicate in both of the uh, what's the thing tables. Okay, all all the suppose we have uh, more like a balance account name everything. All the information from the account this abstract class has to be duplicated in checking and uh, savings account, checking and savings tables. Okay, uh, in this video, we briefly talk about the three solutions to do the inheritance single table, joint table, and table per concrete class. And uh, we're gonna have a uh, this is an intro, in, uh, intro video, and we're gonna have a demo for each of them okay so thank you for watching and uh, see you next time bye bye